Keras is a deep learning framework that works with TensorFlow, JAX and PyTorch interchangeably. In this video, I am going to show you a Google Notebook which you can run to create a chatbot from Google's Gemma 2 model by using this Keras framework. Before we have a look at that, let me give you a bit more information around this Keras framework and also a related concept of Keras NLP. And by the way, we already have covered this Keras in great detail in other videos on the channel. But for this one, I'm just going to knit it up together with Gemma 2's family of models. So Keras is a high level neural network API or framework that provides an easy to use interface for building and training deep learning models. It's written in Python and can run on top of TensorFlow, CNTK or Thino. Keras allows users to focus on the design and development of neural networks without worrying about the underlying mathematical complexities. One of the selling features of Keras is that it lets you define model easily and we will see it shortly in the code. Also it provides you fast prototyping that is again true you can build a chatbot very quickly with Keras and it supports a lot of layers in neural networks including convolutional recurrent and pooling layers. Also it comes built in with some of the optimizers and built in matrices and I'm also going to show you that. So you can access common metrics and optimizers like accuracy, precision and Adam and Adam W2. It has got support for GPU acceleration for faster training and inference. Also, it also um, gives you a dynamic graph structure and Python integration, which is really ideal for <clears throat> building use cases, for building it in research and also in the production level. And there are a lot of other information. We also used the word JAX. JAX is an open source software framework for high level numerical computation and that is really well suited for machine learning and scientific computation and it really simplifies the development of machine learning models and this Keras gets integrated with JAX along with TensorFlow and PyTorch interchangeably. Okay, so that is one thing and I will be using this Gemma 2 model. We have covered the Gemma 2 model a lot on the channel so you can search with Gemma 2 and you will find a lot of videos around installation and few other stuff. And Gemma primarily is a family of lightweight state of the art open models from Google. They have been built from the same research and technology used to create the Gemini model. They are text to text decoder only LLMs available in English with open weights for both pre-trained variants and instruction tune variants. Okay, now that's done. Let me take you to the notebook where I am going to show you. Now this is not a free notebook. You would need at least a 100 GPU to run this unfortunately. So and also you would need an account at Kaggle because and that is um, Google's sort of playground where you can share it and test and use lot of models and Keras and other stuff. Now let me show you what you can do with it. So first up we are just um, creating the Keras configuration. For this, you would just need to go to this website, kaggle.com. From there, grab your username and Kaggle key, put it in here, and then just set your uh, Keras backend. As I mentioned earlier, we'll be using Jax, and I we already now know what exactly Jax is. After that, we are installing Keras and Keras-NLP. So we already have seen what Keras is. Keras NP, NLP is a natural language processing library that supports users through their entire development cycle. And the workflows are built from modular components that have state of the art preset weights and architectures when used out of the box and are easily customizable when more control is needed. This library is an extension of the core Keras API. All high level modules are layers or models. So if you're familiar with Keras, which you are now, you already know what Keras NLP is. So you can, um, on this Keras NLP uses Keras 3 to work with any of the TensorFlow, PyTorch and JAX. And what it, what this does is, it enables you to do inference with a pre-trained model, classifier, backbone, you can fine tune a custom model, you can pre-train a backbone model, and you can build and train your own transformer from scratch by using this. Keras NLP and it's a very very comprehensive library by the way. 
okay so provided that you have installed both of these then we just need to import these libraries just set your precision instead of going with full uh, 32 we are just going with the half p float 16 and then in order to get the model all you need to do is to run this command and and this is if you think about it similar to what we do with the hugging face um, um, library and then it is downloading the model once it's downloaded it it provides a summary of it and these are the matrices and other stuff which it tells you about what exactly the model is where it, it tells you about how many layers are there and then what sort, sort of model it's set it's a decoder only regressive model these are the parameters and all that stuff once that's done these are just a helper function which creates a um, display function for you and we are building a chatbot with it a simple one so it's a very simple python function to display the chat to also put it in the markdown format and once that we are just um, building a python class to manage the conversation history of our chatbot and these are some of the commands and if you are aware of these chatbots there is a turn off user there is a turn off model and then once they are done it is just it just ends and you can readily replace your own chatbot code here if you like but this is a very standard code which not only defines the chat but also adds the history for the user for the model and also full prompt and then you can send the messages with it and then it just adds it to the history so once that's done it is starting the chat here and these are this is the message from the user and then the display chat and there you go so this is the message from the model in the markdown format it's a very very nicely written and then similarly there are you can user can keep chatting with it it will just go into the loop and keep answering the user as you can see multiple questions have been asked from the model in this chatbot and it is replying there if you want to get the history how the whole um, chat thread was retained by the class you can just go with the chat.get history method and it is going to give you the whole history as you can see in a proper markdown format let me scroll down a bit more so there you go so it has published the whole stuff very very nicely so, so what happens um, here is that you have built a very very simple chatbot very quickly by using Keras and Gemma 2 and you don't really have to do a lot of coding in order to get and obtain the model and that is the beauty of Keras and Keras NLP and you can readily just integrate it into your existing chat application by simply using three to four lines of command for downloading and using the model through Keras and Keras NLP I will drop the link to this notebook in video description and again you would need uh, a100 GPU at least to run this so that is unfortunately a huge uh, you know drawback of Keras that it resource intensive whereas we can form the hugging face and stuff and with just torch we can uh, run it in a way less gpu such as i already have shown you in few other videos we can run it on a6000 with 48 gpu of vram anyway so that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching